thing he said before they were observing the relationship that I had with Eddie. Yes. Uh, what's uh, observable about that, or what? What's the interest in that? What are? Why is it fascinating to them? Eddie's healing something and you're helping and and that's that's what they're watching okay. he's healing and you're helping and they and they're looking they can see the energy transfer between us uh -huh. two yeah 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 and And that drew, drew them in. They were in the area, and it was like a beacon for them. And uh, can they, uh, can, uh, Isabel, can you elaborate, please, on the, what, what we're healing? Is he doing the healing, and I'm fortifying with, with the energy, or we're doing the healing together, or if you would, please? It's a very um, difficult to explain. Understood. Very, very um, exchange of energy, and which creates a tidal wave or a. A pulse or it's a pulse it's 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 a pulse of light and so if that means our his energy and my energy combined does that yes and have have we done that before on this planet no and so I was told in a, a session that it was actually in the session that I did with Dane that um, We've been together in the past three times, on from the very first time and the last two times. This exchange is different. Ah, oh, very good. And so, has is uh, could he could you please elaborate on Eddie's relationship with myself, please? This is more of a fulfillment of contract, and. and a completion of it's coming to me as merging completion of merging like you're going to completely merge in this lifetime and become one entity after and you're saying that with um, myself and Eddie yes we're merging to become one so we're we ever one before and and uh, illusionally separated or something no no two two forms of energy compatible energy uh, very I keep getting a yin yang yin yang symbol there's um, and it's spinning really fast, and so when and the you, energies came together over several lifetimes, and this is the completion. Would you say that he is my twin flame or something? Then that's the adjective they use. I'm not sure what that means. He is a twin. Is he my twin? He is a... Yes, you have many. Oh, I have many. Yes. Is Sophia taught us one of the flames in my life? Any, any other... Has any other flames physically incarnated 
in our linear time frame? It's not being given to me. Oh, very good. So, but he, uh, Eddie is for sure. Yes. And what is our purpose? Did What was the contract that we made? Could that be relinquished or any part of it at all? Mm, uh, more work to do first. Oh, very good. Before we can get to the uh, yeah. crux of it. And so these entities, they're out there, and is it a collective of entities that are in the, in the, in the colors that I see? It looks like we call them UFOs. Is it a collective? It is four separate energies. And yeah, they're they're from they're from another place. They they're observing um, the transfer of energy between you. And how was that transfer of energy helping on the planet Earth? Or is it helping? Not getting anything. Oh, very good. So, I mean, they're out there all the time, pretty much every night. Or is at one point, will they just leave and I won't? We won't see them anymore, or they have they have a mission. Okay, very good. They so, have a mission, and. Does Eddie and I have a mission here on the planet at this time? Yes. Yes, everyone. Very good. And uh, that's one of the reasons why Hank had a desire for Dane to do this quantum healing hypnosis therapy session for him. What would you say Hank's purpose is? And if Isabel could elaborate as much as possible and the guide, I would be very grateful. Getting a catalyst to be a catalyst to begin awareness to spread the word to. And I'm spreading the word of oh, the higher self. The word about our higher self that every. Yeah. Yeah, and wow, I'm just getting like sparks and fireworks. Is that a celebration? Yeah. And what's going to be the, what's the celebration? Full consciousness? Yeah, awareness and... Oh, we're going to ascend. Yeah. Has Hank ascended already? He is ascending. Uh, and is Eddie ascending as well? He is. Very good. And uh, are there a lot of people around Hank that are ascending as well? Yes, at, at different rates. Is Dane ascending in the moment? Absolutely. Very good. And what about uh, Hank's best friend, Sophia Torres? She, she is ascending. She's ascending quickly. How she's ascending quickly? Yeah. Her will she be able to keep the physical body that she's in during the process? Yes, yes. She's opening. The, the mind is opening 
quickly. Oh, very good. Her level of understanding. As well as her husband, Keith. I don't have anything on that. Very good, very good. So Sophia's really close, okay. Now, I have five brothers and three sisters. Have any of my brothers and sisters ever had any incarnations with me on this planet? Before this particular linear time frame? I'm not getting it. Nothing at all. I can see them, though. And what about my mother or my father? Or ask, well, actually, my father has passed on to the other side. And I've talked to a lot of people who, in these quantum healing hypnosis therapy sessions, that have connected me with their loved ones from the other side. Is my father, Henry Jones, in the midst there? Could Isabel bring him forward? He is here. Ah, oh, very good. And what does he look like, if you, if you would? He looks like a big guy. Oh, very. Yeah, he's a big guy. And white does, hair. Uh, yes. Um, mustache. Yes. Um. I keep seeing thick glasses, but I'm not seeing them on him. Well, ask him, does he have a message for me, for his son? If he would, please. He said that you... Oh, he's very proud. He sees you. And... And he's with you, and he is proud of what you're doing and where you're going. Where does he see me going? He's... Okay. Ask him, say, <laughs> Hank, slow down. He will. He's. Did he dance a lot? He was. Well, he did dance. Yes, he and my mom. He <laughs> reversed. What did he say? He said something about the George Jefferson dance. Oh, okay. Oh my God, that's so funny. Okay. Um. He's, he says that you are on the path that you are supposed to be on and that you have all the tools that you need to get there. And he said that you, he can, he can talk to you sometimes if you ask and he Big old bear hug. Ah, oh, very good. And does he does he come and uh, sit in my living room with me every now and then? He's fading out. Oh, he's fading out. Right? He. Uh, he said he he can communicate with you sometimes. Oh, very good. So is he? Ask him, can he just stop him? Say, Hank, hold up one moment. Just say it, he will. Okay. Did he stop? Yeah. Oh, very good. Ask him to come back here. Don't go away that fast. I have, I have just a few questions for him. Just a few. Ask him, does he mind answering? He said he'll do what he can. Okay, very good. Um, um, does he come and visit me? He says he talks to me, so does he come around me all the time? He's... 
Sometimes he just peeks in. Sometimes he comes in. Okay. And how would I know when he's around? Have I ever started talking to him spontaneously? Because I do that often. He said he... He said he whispers in your ear. But it seems like a thought to you. Like it just comes through as a thought to you. So see the one that reminds me that I left something or that the keys? And yeah. Is that him all yeah. the time? Yeah. That's That's who I said it was. It's like, oh, there's my dad reminding me I forgot something. Tell him I just said thank you very much. And, and if he could, if he really, really could, uh, could he just give me anything about for my sister Lisa, his little girl, his anything, anything whatsoever as far as for her? I'm kind of seeing a shadow there. She. Her shadow? A shadow over her. And ask him, is that him? No, he's trying to help her. He's trying to help her up. Is there anything that I could do? He said you can share with her the message. So you think they'll be receptive when I send them the book that I wrote? He recommends reaching out to that higher self first. Okay. And he said, prepare the way. Okay, very good. I don't know, my sister, She she's doing really incredible in her life right now with her business and what she's getting patented and all that. So, but he says he sees a shot or you sense a There's shot? There's something of? over her that she's Something that she's dealing with. And no, and she's not relinquished. No one knows, do they? Yeah, she's... She's holding it in. Well, everyone keeps telling me I'm a healer. Is there any way that I could help her? Or is it nothing physical? It's emotion and... He just says, keep, keep reaching out. Oh, very good. Very, very good. Okay, t thanks, Pops. Thank you very, very much. And uh, is she watching over my mom? Always. Did he realize what just happened to her? He sees it. He sees it. Okay, very good. She's not going to be joining him anytime soon, is she? She still has things to do. Oh, very good. All right, Pops, thank you so much. And uh, if you can retire back into the light where you were, that would be awesome. And, and no more messages for anyone else at all? Uh, very good. And Isabel and Augustine, are they still standing there? Yeah. No, when Augustine, they say Augustine had huge wings, like a huge, like an angel. Does he have wings on him? He, he can. Oh, okay. He can have wings. Okay. We're just going to, I have a few more questions and then I'm going to ask some questions about uh, Dane. So I want to just make sure that Dane's higher self, if he could just show up there and just listen in and so we can get to him before we pull him out of this state. I had a question. Do you feel your higher self moving in to the... Mm -hmm. Oh, very good. How's that feel? Mm -hmm. Pretty awesome? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay. Good, good, good. So... I had a question about the orbs. There's blue orbs showing up on the videos. And just while I have my higher self here, uh, could you elaborate on what those blue orbs are that are flying into the screen? I have many videos of them now. 
manifestation of the energy being produced in the room. It's it's like a, it's like a spark, but it but it forms an orb. And so is it an energy entity orb though? Because they seem to be flying around in patterns and they're flying over and around things. It's part of the combination of the energy in the room. Like a dance. Oh, like a good. dance. Like if energy from me and is dancing with your energy. That's what it's. Oh, okay, so am I creating the. Is it my energy that's uh, creating these orbs for the technology to pick up on the video? You. You and your. and the person on the table. Ah, oh, very good. It's the. It's like magnetization. Oh, okay. So, like energy is being drawn into the room? Yeah. And are there going to be orbs on this video that we're shooting here now? Just Maybe. Curious. Okay. There's, Just, if we... It's not... It doesn't say. Repeat it? Okay. So, all right, so you say the orbs are, so, but they don't, they're not any particular consciousness or something like, nothing to that effect, just a, sort of a side effect then? Or do they have consciousness, individual consciousness? Different, what we perceive to be different colors is different things yes there are energies here watching and they are also moving about um, but what I got is that the colors on the screen being recorded is the energies from Hank and the client. Oh, very good. So what do, I mean, I, the where they're, when I'm reciting uh, some of my pieces into the camera, that's when I see the orbs of uh, uh, just some of them materializing right out of thin air or coming around my head or flying across the screen and I mean really in a pattern. What about those particular, and those ones are blue, and then of uh, lately there's been a yellow and a white one. I'm just curious. Those are distinctive energies participating in the creative process. Wow, very good. Now, I did a session a couple weeks back, maybe a month, when my friend was in town, and there was a fairy. Her name was Galinda. Are you familiar with Galinda, <laughs> Isabel? Mm. And did she laugh? Yeah. And Isabel laugh. And who was Galinda, please? She's not saying. She's what? She's not saying. Not oh. telling. So, well, but why? Okay, then why did she laugh when I mentioned Galinda? Because Galinda said she was teasing me. Because she knew exactly who. Ah, very good. You meant. And what did, well, so if she knows Galinda, she's not going to go into details. And I saw her as soon as you said the name. Oh, did she, what'd she look like? What'd you see? She was, she just flew past my field of vision and then just kind of fluttered like a hummingbird. Did you feel the vibration of her wings? Yeah. Uh, awesome. She said that they were speaking about me. 
and uh, I mean, she gave me her name, Galinda. Who was who? Who were who was she speaking? Who was she talking about? Saying that they were speaking about myself. Who was speaking about me? Galinda said she heard about me, and she said she came to see who I was. She talks too fast. Galinda talks really fast, or Isabel. And oh, uh, she's okay. Okay, very she. Good. She says that that there were other entities with it's the word I'm getting is residue like a residue your essence okay and other entities that had spoken of this essence and about Hank's essence yes and she became curious and is there anything special about Hank's essence or anything that makes it an anomaly in that you are part of the original force that helped create the planet. The planet Earth. Yeah. Oh, very good. And so that's why she made, that's why, she, so in, uh, I asked her, was she the, the, the yellow one that went across my forehead and over my face? Was that her? She was yellow when I saw her, yes. Oh, very, very good. Okay. So, she told me, Galinda told me that I was the, she said that I was the boy that knows. Could you please elaborate on that? I've been thinking about that ever since she said that. Mon, do you have, you're connecting with the knowledge of all things. And so you will expand your knowledge and share it with others and she said you just know and you're not afraid to know very good am i am I, is my physical vessel being protected Always. And by whom? By your guides and your light. So, I would say for the shadow portion on the planet, uh, I'm probably, am I invisible to them? Or are they paying attention? Uh, as shadows look for opportunity, To block the light. If they can find them, they will block it. If have, have they been able to block my light at all? Oh, well, well, sometimes, but you are you are more able to recognize when they start to come. Oh, very good. Very good. She's told me that I should go quietly. That's also something that really sticks in my mind. What did she mean by I should go quietly? Use your entire self to reach out to others more. There's, there are some who are not ready to hear the words 
but are more receptive to listening to the higher self. And it was like a beacon for them. And uh, can they, uh, can, uh, Isabel, can you elaborate please on the, what, what we're healing? Is he doing the healing and I'm fortifying with, with the energy or we're doing the healing together or if you would please? It's a very um, difficult to explain. Very, very um, exchange of energy and which creates a tidal wave or a, a pulse or it's a pulse it's 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 a pulse of light and so if that means our his energy I'm not sure what that means he is a twin is he my twin? He is a... Yes, you have many. Oh, I have many. Yeah. Is Sophia taught us one of the flames in my life? Any, any other... Has any other flames physically incarnated in our linear time frame? That's not being given to me. Oh, very good. So, but he, uh, Eddie is for sure. Yes. And what is our purpose? Did What was the contract that we made? Could that be relinquished or any part of it at all? Mm, no. More work to do first. Oh, very good. Before we can get to the uh, yeah. crux of it. And so these entities, they're out there. And is it a collective of entities that are in the, in the, in the colors that I see? Merging. Completion of merging, like you're going to completely merge in this lifetime and become one entity after. And you're saying that with um, myself and Eddie? Yes. We're merging to become one. So were we ever one before and and uh, illusionally separated or something? No. Now, two, two forms of energy, compatible energy, uh, very, I keep getting a yin-yang, yin-yang symbol, there's, um, and it's spinning really fast, and, so when and he, the energies came together over several lifetimes, and this is the completion. Would you say that he is my twin flame or something then? That's the adjective they use. I mean, he said before they were observing the relationship that I had with Eddie. Yes. Uh, what's uh, observable about that or what? what's the interest in that? What are, why is it fascinating to them? Eddie's healing something and you're helping and and that's that's what they're watching okay. he's healing and you're helping and they and they're looking they can see the energy transfer between us uh -huh. two yeah yeah, yeah, and and that drew, drew them in. They were in the area. Yeah, my energy combined does that. Yes. And have have we done that before on this planet? No. And so I was told in a, a session that it was actually in the session that I did with Dane that. Uh, 
we've been together in the past three times on from the very first time and the last two times this exchange is different ah oh, very good and so has is uh could he could she please elaborate on Eddie's relationship with myself please this is more of a fulfillment of contract and and a completion of it's coming to me as a